like really, really hoping my camera does not fall. It is currently balancing on five pillows and a laptop. Hi you guys, oh my god, it has been so, so long since I filmed a YouTube video. I think it's been about like four or five weeks since I've actually like sat down in front of a camera, so it feels super, super good to be back. I've like really neglected this channel entirely since I've been like traveling in Europe with my best friend so I just want to apologize for being like so MIA these past few weeks but yeah to like kick off me being back on this channel I kind of just want to do like an old school chit chat get ready with me all these products that I've been using I basically have been using for the past four weeks so this is like my everyday makeup routine at this point some products I did switch out just because I was like really tired of using them every single day in Europe this is just gonna be like super chill uh, really easy going I do plan on doing a video soon on how I traveled really cheap. A lot of people don't know this, but my round trip flight to Europe was like $320, um, which is like insane. I, that's like the cheapest flight I've ever gotten to Europe. Um, so yeah, so if you guys like want to learn how to travel to Europe cheap, I will be making that video very soon. But as of right now, I'm just gonna like do my makeup and kind of get ready with you guys. I also um, have a glass of wine for the occasion. I am visiting my family in Phoenix right now. So uh, yeah, that explains kind of like the Christmas tree um, and like little other Christmas decor around me. My mom kind of goes crazy when it comes at this time of year. I have a sweet spot, everyone's out of the house. Um, it's usually like really loud and kind of crazy in this very Latino home. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get started. I missed you guys. Uh, I've been relying on the Hourglass Vanish Foundation for the past four weeks. Winter in Europe is not a joke, so I lost a lot of my tan. I stopped using that foundation because it's too dark for me. Now I'm using the um, Fenty Beauty Foundation, and this is in the color 300. Oh, I forgot. I always add sunscreen, and I haven't added that yet. Every day I've been using this one pharmacy um, this is their green screen so yeah, I just add a good amount. It gives my face that a little a little bit of a greasy feeling. I personally like that. I know a lot of people hate that feeling, but I don't know, to me it makes my skin feel like it's extra moisturized. Oh, my lips have also been super chapped too. Ugh, I'm a mess. My makeup routine literally takes like 15 minutes usually every day, which to me is quick. Cause I remember back in high school, I would take like an hour to do my makeup and I've got it to the T at this point. I mean, this is obviously gonna take longer because I'm talking to the camera, but just so you guys know, I'm pretty quick. I just kind of dot it everywhere. I usually do like three fat swipes. I add a little bit on my forehead just so it looks even with the rest of my face. And I have the most redness and discoloration around my nose and my mouth, so I tend to add a lot of foundation there, but I ran out, so I'll add more later. If you guys want a little recap of where I've been. Basically, these past four weeks, I visited London, Amsterdam, Dublin, Paris, Rome, Lisbon, and Madrid. I think those were all of them. Um, seven cities, seven countries. Actually, when I was in Dublin, I also visited Galway and Cliffs of Moor, so that was also very, very cool. Oh, I know when I was in Lisbon, we um, took a train to another nearby city to visit this like palace. So that was really cool too. It was four weeks of traveling, and it's weird because like it felt long at some points, like I really did like miss home, but at other times, I feel like for the, like, the majority of the time, it felt like it was going by so, so quick. Overall, it was just like such a fun experience to do with like one of my closest friends. But yeah, this guy I traveled with has been my best friend since we were five years old. I met him in kindergarten. And yeah, we just have been like so close like since then, like through middle school, high school, um, and in college, like we've just always have kept in touch. And you know, traveling with different people gives you such a different experience so for me like even though I was visiting the same cities I'd already been to it was like a whole different experience because I was visiting it with like one of my childhood friends you know it's not all rainbows and sunshine when you travel um, a few bad things did happen to me while I was traveling it was like our second or third day traveling my phone got like lost slash stolen and this was like <laughs> let me grab my wine as I talk about this this was kind of like a sad Thing for me just because when I studied abroad two years ago I got my phone legit stolen in this club I was at with my friends like it was in my purse so when I unzipped it took it out turned it off and then I no longer found my phone this time it was definitely like my fault that my phone got lost because I went to this salsa club in um, London with my friend and I had had like maybe two or three drinks so I wasn't drunk by any means but I definitely had a little bit of a buzz and when I have a little bit of a, of a buzz 
even when I'm sober, I'm very forgetful. So I think I left my phone on the table somewhere. We ended up leaving the place and I didn't realize that I didn't have my phone on me until we like traveled 40 minutes back to our hostel. So we like went 40 minutes back to this bar and it wasn't there. Mm. Sad, sad, sad. And I couldn't use Find My Friends because my phone was like completely dead. It was just a really bad chain of events um, that led to me not having a phone literally at the very start of our trip. So I had the very hard decision to make on whether or not I wanted to buy a new phone in London or go the rest of the trip without having a phone at all. In the end, I decided to buy a new phone because I was going to buy a new phone after the trip. I just didn't plan on buying it so soon. Yeah, that was really, really sad. I didn't cry or anything just because I was more upset at myself than sad about it. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is what I used the entire four weeks I was in Europe, but I recently bought a new concealer at Sephora yesterday and I really really wanted to try it and I totally forgot until now I went shopping yesterday but yeah the concealer I decided to buy is the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer it just like has so much product in it so I really wanted to try it I got the color Warm Beige because this is a color I usually use like in their foundation I was thinking about getting a lighter one for under the eye but they were sold out of it so I just like was like you know whatever not that I hate the NARS Creamy Concealer like I do like it but um I don't know I just Love switching up my makeup and trying out new stuff. Even though I was so disconnected from YouTube for four weeks, that's not to say I didn't miss it at all or I, you know, it was my decision to neglect the channel. I didn't bring my camera with me at all because I was thinking like, okay, if I can't bring my laptop with me, my external hard drive or my camera, then I can't vlog, right? And I had a 10 kilogram weight limit with my backpack and my um, carry-on so I put in all the clothes I needed all of my shoes when I weighed everything it was 12 kilograms and that was like before my laptop and everything and I was like okay there's no way I can bring everything with me like it's just not gonna fit and that's when I came to the sad conclusion that I would not be vlogging my entire four weeks there which oh, is just so sad because that's just such a missed opportunity you know I'm so so forgetful like I'm not even joking it's like a running joke with my friends um so I really wanted to vlog just so I don't forget any of the precious moments me and my friend had but you know it just it didn't happen there were so many days when I was traveling that I did not put on like a drop of makeup and I loved it so so much since I had eyelash extensions I really felt like I could go you know and travel and walk around without any makeup on and I felt so confident and like so comfortable in my own skin as you guys can see I don't have any eyelash extensions on which is like different <laughs> for me because I've had them on for um, I think like the last three or four months this is the first time in so long that I've actually have like seen my face without any like lashes on it and I don't know I kind of like it but yeah I like really miss like <laughs> being able to like rub my eyes and stuff and I don't know on top of that I felt like my lashes are being kind of destroyed from putting on lashes a ton well I am talking so much I thought I was gonna be so awkward in front of the camera but I'm doing such a good job okay anyways <laughs> when you constantly put on eyelash extensions sometimes they could be a bit too heavy for your lashes so eventually my lashes did get a little bit ruined so I've been adding this like lash serum that I got in the mail I'm gonna let them grow out for like maybe a month or two and hopefully they like look a lot better than they do now Wow guys I really like that concealer by the way I'm gonna use it next time on its own and see how well it covers up for the powder I've been using this for so so long I just use like the Fenty Beauty powder this is their banana one I think it leaves a little bit of a yellow tint on my face um, which I, I don't really love for all my girls out there that just use cruelty free makeup What would be your take on this? Like I don't think benefit is a 100% cruelty free company I do love a lot of their products, but I never purchased them myself because I have heard that they're not 100% cruelty free But I do get like makeup from them in the mail. So it's like what would you guys do in that situation? Would you give that makeup away to someone else? Would you just use it and like not continue purchasing the makeup on your own? I don't really know. Okay I don't know if I'm the only one that's like this, but I feel like on some days I'm super good with my makeup and my makeup does not look cakey, like it looks amazing. And then other times when I do my makeup, it's just, it looks trash. And I'm just like, did I get worse with doing my makeup? I legit think I did. I remember being so good in high school and now I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I've gone like really rusty. For my nose, I always do like this really rough little contour on the sides of my nose just because like I don't hate the shape of my nose but I just like like to add a little bit of color on it you know my brows are a little bit messy but whatever okay <laughs> next what are we doing I have been using for years 
two years maybe it could be expired I still really like it this one is by um, note and it's in the color desert rose rust color I really don't know how to describe this but I really really like it and I always 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 add a lot of blush oh a lot of you guys have DM me this but I didn't add for um, this company called Il Maquillage when I was filming um, the ad for them um, it was so funny because like there was this portion where I had to add my blush and they stopped like while filming that like, Amanda um, you added a lot of blush you, you can like blend that out and I was like oh yeah 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 and I was like blending it out and to me I was like okay done like like to me this like looks fine and they were like um yeah, um, they like called over their makeup artist and like he blended it out for me just because I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I just like love adding a lot of blush. It's just like a personal thing. Then I realized like, okay, actually this can be a lot for some people. Like, I totally get it. Update with my makeup. I haven't been like super into putting on like intense highlighter. On my cheek, I really don't add a lot just because I feel like it can look a little fake seeing like all this glitter on your cheek I don't know it's just like a personal preference I think I'll get over it like after a week or so this one is by Artist Couture so so pretty and this is in their color Illuminati and I always just add it like underneath my brow bone Ugh, I love it and like right here and I got this like little tiny pointed end and I use that to add some of my nose and then I always like add it on the sides too like this yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't go all the way up like this, like one big line. I just like add some like halfway and then I'll add some like right here. I always add some on the inner corners just because I, I don't know, I think it adds like a really nice pop to the eye. Uh, also right here on the top of the lip. Yeah. Oh my god. This is awesome. I have not been that fancy with my eyebrows. Like I usually will shape them out and like clean them and stuff. And I don't know. I really, really love the shape of my brows right now. So I just kind of go in and fill in like gaps. I always start on the corner brush as you like add more makeup to it. Just because it's easier to blend out as you go. Go down here and lightly, lightly do a line of where your hairs start. I go like maybe halfway, I do not go that far up, and then blend all that product upwards. The least amount of product should be like in the center right here, because then like, if it's too boxy, that's game over, friend. All right, cool, now I'm just gonna repeat this to the other eye, because I don't want to waste time. All right, cool, now that they're filled, I'm gonna go ahead and set them with the uh, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, and this is just like in a clear color you know keeping it simple pretty basic since like i wasn't doing my brows regularly for four weeks they really were able to grow out and as soon as i landed in la i was like plucking at them cleaning them and then i think this is like the best they've like looked in a long time i'm just like admiring them sorry i'm gonna do my mascara and then i usually just do like a quick like lipstick or gloss and i'm done okay so with my mascara i don't have a favorite one just because I have not used mascara in like four months. <laughs> so I brought literally three with me. Benefit sent me a mascara. So this is their roller lash mascara. And then I usually like like volumizing mascaras. And this one I think is like definitely more of a lengthening one. So that's why I kind of topped it off with this volumizing one by Sam Marcel. Like this one's like thick, like three C's thick. Curling my lashes after a long time, like legit kind of like made me nervous. I was like, oh God, like. This is kind of scary. Oh my God, I've been thinking since I'm like home here with my mom, I kind of want to like take advantage and like film us cooking Mexican vegan recipes together or doing another like speaking Spanish for 24 hours. I feel like that'd be super fun. Or something I have always, always, always wanted to do, but it, like it literally does not go with my channel at all, is um doing a truth or tequila with my mom i think that'd be so so funny because she seems pretty tame at times but she's usually very very wild so i think it'd be fun to get some tea out of her you know also she hates tequila so that's also very very fun so i'm gonna finish putting on my mascara uh, and then i'll get back to you guys Peace. All right, mascara is done. And now final thing is to do the lips. With my lips, I usually don't like to add a lot of product on them. Like I don't really line them or make it look fancy because I get super lazy when it comes to this step. <laughs> so uh, the lipstick I will be adding is by Flush Beauty. Chew, it's really cute. And I'm gonna top it off with the new gloss I got from Fenty Beauty. And this is the color Fenty Glow. <gasps> <sighs> I'm really excited because I purchased this gloss before, but last time I bought it, I lost it that same day.
day when I went out. Like, I, I think it fell out of my purse or something, so I was really, really sad. I think I waited, like, half a year, like, six months to buy it again, because I was like, no, that was your fault. Like, you're not gonna buy another one right away. So, yeah. This is the replacement, six months later. Cheers to the final step of this makeup routine. Mmm. So good. Like, literally, that's it. And then just top it with gloss. Oh, I love how this one smells too. It smells so good. My god, it makes your lips like feel like butter. Love it. Okay, and that is it. All right, you guys, and that was my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, basically, what I've been doing these past four weeks and probably will be doing for the next four weeks. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any videos in particular that you want to see, let me know down below in the comments. Love you a ton. Um, happy, happy holidays. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.